right, we have Sanjay Hegde, Senior Advocate of the Supreme Court, uh, NS Napinai, Advocate of the Supreme Court and founder of the Cyber Sathi Foundation. We also have Mr. Desh Ratan Nigam, Political Analyst, whose views lean towards the BJP, joining us. Thank you all very much. Sanjay Hegde, to you first, your first reaction on the Supreme Court ordering uh, a court-monitored probe into Pegasus. Well, the Supreme Court gave the government every opportunity to set things right. The Supreme Court has expressed its dissatisfaction with the government filing only a limited affidavit. And, there, and the Supreme Court says that it will not shy away from its task of protecting the fundamental rights of citizens, including the right to privacy. Uh, it notes that people who have been affected by Pegasus have uh, approached the court. Therefore, before proceeding further in the matter, uh, it, it turned down the government's uh, request that on national security grounds, uh, nothing need be revealed, that the government would form its own committee. The Supreme Court has instead uh, formed a committee of independent experts to be um, supervised by a respected uh, former judge of the court. Uh, and uh, it wants a report possibly in eight weeks. I think uh, much will depend on how the government uh, now reacts to this order, whether it cooperates with the committee, and uh, what kind of report the committee then comes up with. Right. The top court, uh, N.S. Napina, has very clearly talked about the fact that the nature of allegations are about fundamental rights being violated, and this could have a chilling effect. Uh, you know, break it down for us. So a lot of what has sa been said in the Supreme Court holds fundamentally true uh, in a lot of other cases as well today. Absolutely. See, the thing is, the fundamental rights are... Sa uh, uh, San San Sanjay Hegre, I'm going I'm to come back to you in just a bit. Let me bring in N.S. Napinai on this. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so, you know, this uh, on September 14th, I had written about how the appointment of an independent committee was inevitable. And the emphasis is on the word inevitable, because look at the way everything had uh, uh, panned out. At the stage when the Pegasus row broke, at that stage, nothing stopped the government from uh, appointing a committee and uh, investigating this, uh, the allegations or concerns that were raised and that needed to be done. It was not done. It did not need a court's imprimatur for it to start these proceedings, but they did not do so. Hmm. Before the court also, it was called upon for uh, uh, specific clarifications which were not given. So my take on this uh, is as follows. Firstly, one, that a committee will be appointed was inevitable. Two, what the committee is going to look into has been set out quite extensively by the Supreme Court. So the points of reference are very, very extensive. Three, in terms of what is likely to come out, the order Ritika, starts in a very interesting way. Yes. Uh, the court, uh, courts uh, all well to say, if you really wanted to keep a secret, you need to keep it a secret even from yourself. That's right. So this is where we stand today that uh, one, the committee is not really going to uh, take it too kindly to uh, anybody not just the government and that's the angle i really want us to also uh, focus on we are talking about multiple parties here neither the government nor the petitioners can now seek to keep a secret a secret even from themselves they will necessarily have to come out with all the details yes. uh, to uh, help the committee decide and merely because of the observations of the Supreme Court in terms of the failure of the government to file a detailed affidavit, yes. it is not really going to help the petitioners get away with their owners or duty to be able to establish from their perspective what is the basis for their allegation. Okay. Well, you know, Desha and Nigam respond to this. I think NS Napinai raises an important point that the government could have ordered uh, you know, an independent inquiry into Pegasus. The government didn't do so. The Supreme Court today has said, if anything, the government's response has been vague and no longer can the state sort of, you know, hide behind this garb of national security. This is a serious violation of fundamental rights and it needs to be probed. 
Uh, Rishika, in fact, uh, the government of India had submitted to the court that they are uh, willing to form a committee and they had submitted to the court. And however, the court said they are in the process of forming a committee, an independent committee. Probably out of deferment to Supreme Court's observation, they did not form the committee because Supreme Court had al- already disclosed its mind hmm. for that purpose. Okay. Now, secondly, secondly, the government of India had also submitted that this is a serious and sensitive issue and it is not going to be debated through affidavits and counter affidavits in public domain. And they were willing to give it to an expert committee supervised by the Supreme Court. Hmm. Here also there is an expert committee. It is not going to be in public domain. It has to be in a closed doors and national security because there could be sensitive material. So it is going to be discussed within the expert committee and they will give a report probably in a sealed envelope or otherwise, I don't know. Hmm. So therefore, they have taken into account the reservations of the government of India. Government of India was willing to disclose the material, but before an expert. But what do you make of the fact court. that the Supreme Court, you know, you're saying that they've actually taken uh, uh, the government of India's point of view into consideration. But the court has said, if anything, the response of the government has been quote unquote vague. Obviously, because they said they are not going to disclose in public domain. It had to be vague. If it has to be discussed within four walls and quietly within an expert committee, it can response cannot be very explicit. So okay. they could have used the word, not use the word vague. Vague is a very negative word. They could have used some other words. Okay. But on an independent basis, let me tell you, there are some very serious issues about the jurisdiction of Supreme Court, whether they can get into, whether the uh, government of India should file a review or not. These are the issues which can be gone okay. into. Well, we will, of course, you know, uh, track that aspect of the story as well. But Sanjay Hegde, if I can just come to you, uh, you know, on, on, the, on the same point about the fact that the court today interestingly has said that you know the state can't just go ahead and do whatever it wants under the ambit of of, of national security fundamental rights and violation of fundamental rights which is what this case appears to be about also needs to be looked at absolutely because the court is the guardian on and a sentinel on the we weave as far as fundamental rights are concerned here are citizens who have come to the court saying that our fundamental right to privacy has been violated. It has been violated in a manner uh, which is not necessarily known to law. The, the government's response is, oh, these are matters of national security. Uh, and, it, and it implicitly told the court that you cannot get into these matters, as Mr. Deshwata Nigam is uh, uh, also arguing out here. So at, at that stage, the court has said, look, we are not satisfied that your claim for uh, national security uh, is a blanket pass against uh, proper scrutiny. Yes. Uh, taking into account all, all, uh, all the government's objections as well as the, uh, the necessity to protect a citizen's fundamental rights, the court has gone and... Fi- uh, and uh, mm-hmm found neutral experts yes. who are not aligned uh, allied to mm-hmm. either side and for greater safety it has said that they will be supervised by a former judge of the court the government has now brought it upon itself by filing only a limited affidavit right i do mm-hmm. hope that the government now at least cooperates with the committee and uh, things for me go go forward in a in a proper manner so yes. that consistent with the claims of national security, the citizens' fundamental rights are protected. You cannot just in the name of, fun- of national security yes. breach fundamental rights. Well, absolutely. And, and these are some important observations because the court has said that it's not going to encroach on national security, but that doesn't mean that the court is a mute spectator. They've also said, interestingly, that they gave ample opportunity to the government to give details of the action that they've taken, but they filed a limited, a, a limited affidavit that gave no clarity. If anything, this is being looked at as a vague denial from the government of India. It is a significant development that's taken place in the Supreme Court, one that we'll continue to track here on NDTV very closely. Thank you all very much uh, for joining us on this big breaking story.